Ella Fitzgerald, The Tale of a Vocal Virtuosa by Andrea Davis Pinckney, illustrated by Brian Pinckney. Track one, Hoofin' in Harlem. Track two, Jammin' at Yale. Track three, Stompin' at the Savoy. Track four, Carnegie Hall Scat. There's Scat the Cat. You may think I look like any other cat, but baby, I am in a class all by myself. Scat Cat's my name, Scat Cat Monroe, a name I've earned. Got my name from Noah and Ella. Ella Fitzgerald, the queen of scat. What's scat, you ask? Scat's the sound that don't hold back. Ella's sound, that was scat. Singing so supreme, music's velvet, ribbon dream. Let me tell you Ella's story, because you see I was there from the get-go. I saw it all, me, Scat Cat Monroe. I watched Ella go from a small town girl to the first lady of song, to a vocal virtuosa bar none. So sit back, listen up, here's four tracks cut to cut. Here's how Ella got her sound, got her silk and silver style, got her lady, Ella Scat. There's Ella as a young girl. Track one, Hoofin' in Harlem. The child's name was Ella. She was a big bone girl with dreams of becoming a dancer. But there weren't many dance schools in Yonkers, New York, the little city where Ella Fitzgerald and her mother Tempe lived. Ella had her heart set on pretty stepping her way to fame and she didn't need a dance school to do it. She taught herself to tap dance. Determination was her teacher. The sidewalk was her stage. Imagination was her spotlight. In time, Ella and her friends took to performing on street corners. When Ella's neighbors saw her go, they told Ella to strut her shuffle to Harlem to take her hoofing to New York, the big city where dreams really do come true. Ah, but look, Ella's singing, not dancing. That's when Harlem became Ella's stomping ground. On the night of November 21st, 1934, Ella entered a talent contest at the Apollo Theater. She was 17 and scrubbed clean down to her toe jam. But as soon as Ella saw the footlights, her feet failed her. She stood front and center, knees knocking, teeth clacking, a wannabe with a stomach full of butterflies. And the girl was hardly dressed to impress. She wore work boots and hand-me-downs. Luckily, Ella was thinking on her toes. She refused to be booed back to Yonkers, so she started to sing. At first, her voice came quiet as a whisper, a measly little hiss soft as a cricket. But when the band joined in, Ella rolled out a tune sweet enough to bake. She won the contest straight up, kicked her dance dreams to the curb, and pinned all her hopes on being a singer. I was there in the wings, watching it all, swinging to Ella's groove, wearing a grin as big and as proud as that Cheshire cat. Track two, 